I've been at Hopkins off and on since 1976. I landed here as a young person from college, um, interested in doing work in molecular biology and perhaps applying that work uh, to medicine. The major developments in science, biological sciences over the past 10 years, have led us to a point where all of these methodologies, all of this information, all these techniques can now be applied to an understanding of us, of the human condition. The advances of the last 10 or 20 years in molecular biology, genetics, biochemistry, imaging, medical physics, nanobiology, uh, have brought us to the point where issues that were once thought to be too complex to be tackled in a rigorous way can now be examined. As we think to the future of the Basic Science Institute, the future really is the people who make up the Institute. One of the most heartening things about our work over the past several years has been the ability to recruit junior faculty members into each of the Basic Science Centers and the ability of each of the Basic Science Departments to recruit junior faculty. But I think looking forward, what we need to do is to find better ways to bring fellows through the Institute to fund those fellows, to continually renew the intellectual resources of the basic sciences at Johns Hopkins by exposing the basic sciences to the minds of the best people we can find for two, three, four years, and reciprocally uh, to expose those best minds to what Johns Hopkins has to offer. On behalf of all my colleagues at Johns Hopkins, the students, the staff, postdocs, and faculty, Welcome to the Institute for Basic Biomedical Sciences.